Um, these guys just, man, they, they got a ton of great players up front. And then obviously they're good on the back end as well. Um, so they fly around, they play fast, they play aggressive. That's what makes them so good. And they, had, they added Dante Fowler. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. They couldn't have waited a week. Um, yeah, he's, uh, I don't know as much about him other than uh, seeing a little bit of, of him on film with Jacksonville. Um, he hasn't been there when we've been playing him, but uh, he, uh, he obviously adds, adds some juice to that D-line that's already really stout. Have you ever seen two defensive tackles like this? On no, the same I don't think so. <laughs> Not since we played the University of Georgia in, in 1999, <laughs> the 99, 99 season in the Outback Bowl, and it was, um, uh, Marcus, it was uh, Marcus Stroud and um, Richard, uh, Seymour. Richard Seymour. Yeah, that was a pretty stout uh, defensive interior uh, front. But no, I mean at this level, it's it's kind of it's really unheard of um, to have you know Sue and, and Donald in there. Those those guys are unbelievable. How so, much are you guys enjoying this right now? Um, you know, I guess with the stakes being what they are. I know it's early in the season, but we're talking about you know, the two best teams record wise in the NFC. Yeah, and having a chance to I guess. We, fight it out for number one seed. Listen, it's it, it's exciting. It's a great challenge. Um, but here's the thing. It's it's one game. You know, and yes, it's a big game. Yes, it's against a great opponent who is undefeated and is playing exceptionally well right now. Um, but for us, it's just another opportunity for us to take the next step to continue to improve. Um, I like the, the track that we're on, but, but we, we can still get better. True. Does watching Sean McVay and his innovation yeah. remind, remind you at all of what you guys have been doing the last decade plus here? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, I think we, we, we like to feel like over the last 13 years that we've, we've um, kind of been at the forefront of, of the evolution of, of offensive football. Um, obviously, Sean, with, with, with Sean and um, with Pete Carmichael and Joe Lombardi and, and others who have, who have contributed to that, um, you know, kind of taking the personnel that you have and then and being able to utilize it in some really unique ways. And then from a schematic standpoint, just doing some things that maybe everybody else in the league just take, you know, you, you can't help but turn on the film and, and be intrigued by the things that they're doing. Um, and, and, and obviously, yeah, I, think, I think Jared Goff is playing as well as anybody right now. Um, he's got a bunch of weapons there at the receiver position that are lighting it up. Um, Todd Gurley, one of the best backs in the league. You know, I mean, just, but it's, it's the complement of all those guys and the way they play together and, and obviously the scheme and, and what Sean McVay's doing. And, and so there's, there's a lot that goes into that and, and they all deserve a ton of credit.